Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I want to talk about RestoreX again for a couple reasons. Um, the first reason is that I really love the device. It's become my favorite device, and I want to kind of tell you why. And the second reason is because Dr. Trost, the inventor, left a comment on my RestoreX video, a really great comment, very lengthy, where he goes into some of the points I made and also make some important points on it. And I really appreciate the comment. Um, I'll see if I can link it in the description of the video, but wow, you know, it's it, it was so helpful. And he seems like a really selfless, caring guy who really cares about the effectiveness of, of this device and really helping men. And he doesn't seem to be really about the money, you know, which is um, so cool, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. I. You know, I don't know him personally, but yeah, from what I can tell, he seems to just be a very caring dude. And yeah, what a great comment. Thank you, Dr. Trost, for, for making that comment. So, okay, guys, I guess I, I do want to talk about his comment first just a little bit, because I think the most important thing that he notes is that, or he kind of explains, is that this was researched um, with an intention to treat and it's the only traction device that's ever been researched in such a way. And that means that in the results of their study, they included men who, for whatever reason, didn't use the device. Um, now, the reason why this is important is that the other traction devices, um, namely, I compare this one to the Pini Master Pro, um, you know, the, those results did not include men who didn't use it. Um, you know, and I kind of wonder how many men didn't use that device. I don't know, but I think considering that RestoreX is so fussy and that a lot of men probably didn't end up using it, um, the results are incredible. Plus, you know, men were only using it for 30 to 90 minutes a day, and that's amazing. Uh, so, you know, I really do hope that uh, studies are done that compare devices for Peyronie's disease. That's exactly what we need. And Dr. Trost does say, you know, he would love to do such a study. Uh, he even has a, a charity uh, that he linked for Peyronie's that he recently created. He moved away from the Mayo Clinic, and now he has his own clinic, his own private practice. And so uh, hopefully he gets to do something like that. That'd be great. I'm sure, yeah, I know he wants to. It's really just about money because studies are extremely expensive to do. Um, but yeah, I would love to see them compared. But um, but yeah, check out his comment. Um, it really makes the case that I think this is the absolute best research traction device in existence. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I and I think this device is fantastic. So I want to basically tell you yeah why i've been using this in my results so i've been getting results that i've never had before with the device and that's kind of the main point i want to make in this video that you know um as somebody who's done traction by hand for thousands of hours suddenly after using this just 30 minutes a night uh i'm noticing my penis is changing it seems to be getting thicker and seems to feel more whole and you know, that's a hard thing to really imagine if you don't have Peyronie's, but when you have Peyronie's, your penis tends to feel segmented and not structurally whole, like singular. And yeah, my morning erections and erections in general, I feel it and I'm like, whoa, that's not my penis. Like it feels like a different penis, more like the way my penis was before I got Peyronie's. And I'm 34, I just turned 34 last month. And you know, um, I've, I, I originally got the indentations on the ventral bottom part of my penis when I was 17 or so, or 18. So to see this help me so many years later, I think is incredible. Now, again, you know, my, my favorite treatment is traction by hand. And I think that could probably achieve basically, you know, everything, you know, basically anything. Um, Cause you can do traction, you can do counter bending by hand as well. And I find that to be effective. But this is just so easy to put on. And I know, um, I know I said it's very fussy and it probably is the most fussy traction device, but once you know how to wrap, uh, once you know how to wear it, that is not a problem. And, you know, it's actually the easiest to put on once you figure out how uh, to do that. So I've been uh, actually, I actually put the Phalasan Forte condom on here. Sorry to the Phalasan makers. Uh, and that's actually been the best way to wear it for me. It's so funny. But of course, you know, please do not modify or use this um, unless, you know, you do that at your own risk. Please don't modify this, you know, unless you know what you're doing. And yeah, do that at your own risk. Please read the manual. Make sure you're flaccid, not erect. But for me, yeah, I've been using this rubber piece and that's all I need. I put this on in, you know, less than 10 seconds and then I wear it for a half hour. And then I do some some traction by hand afterwards and it just feels amazing. 
but yeah, it's, it's changing my penis, even though I consider myself functionally and aesthetically cured, you can't tell I have Peyronie's anymore, but this is, this is making my penis feel more and maybe even look more the way it was before I got Peyronie's and I love it. This is my favorite device. Now, if you got PMP, you know, I think Peony Master Pro, I think that's great. I think that's probably the best standard traction device in, um, that's available. And I think it is kind of a gold standard as far as far as straight out traction goes. And I would say this device isn't quite as good at straight out traction. But that said, because I've done traction so much, and because traction can be done by hand, um, I don't really feel like a standard traction device is really needed. I feel like this plus, plus traction by hand is ideal for me, okay? Um, although I do think traction by hand is still my favorite single thing to do for Peyronie's disease, and in my opinion, the most effective for a number of reasons. But that said, if I, if I was to spend money on one thing in my position, it would be this, even though it's the most expensive, um, if I had to spend money on it, okay? But yeah, I, I love the device, guys. Um, I will continue to use it and let you know kind of what happens. But so far, yeah, my results feel incredible. I haven't measured anything, um, but my penis feels and looks better. And I feel like your subjective experience of your penis does matter. I know it's important to take measurements and take photos, but you know, you know when your penis is changing. Um, obviously, there's some placebo effect, you know, involved as well. But um, you know, how your penis and erection feels is something that's very hard to describe. And this makes my penis feel much better. And I think, uh, you know, with a ventral curve, I, it's just my intuition, but I feel like this is really good for ventral curvatures. And, you know, the study showed that it was good for all kinds of curvatures. And most men do have an upward curve, um, whereas I have downward, a downward kind of deformity. Um, because the septum lies flat against this when you use it this way. The septum is that cord that runs across the top of your penis. Um, you know, because it goes flat against this, if you wear it upward like this, uh, that just feels more comfortable. It feels like it gives me a better bend. Whereas if I wear it this way, as if I had an upward curve and bent my penis down, uh, the septum kind of lops to one side and it pushes on my urethra here. I don't like that. And it's just my, my own intuition. Maybe just it's only my case but I really feel like this was made for a ventral curvature or at least works best for a ventral curvature. So if you have, you know, any hinging indentations on the bottom of your penis, I feel like this is incredible at 90 degrees. You can even go more and really get an amazing stretch at the bottom of your penis. And yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that part of my penis getting stronger now, um, especially combined with some traction afterwards at a downward angle from left to right. I, I just love it. So that's really it, guys. I will post Dr. Cho's comment um, unless he tells me to remove it. Um, and yeah, I, I just, you know, it, it's always hard for me to recommend devices because traction by hand really is what made a difference for me. I still like it, but um, I, I just love this. This I think this is the best device. And yeah, if you can afford it, I say go for it. Um, anyway, that's it, guys. Um, if you wanna support my channel and if you wanna chat with me on Discord, you can do so by becoming a patron on Patreon. I'm on Discord 24 seven on my phone. So if you just wanna you know, mention something to me or ask me questions, that would be the best way to do it at this point. I haven't been doing coaching lately because I've been very busy, but I will um, again, find a way to start doing that again. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys and um, leave a comment. Thank you so much, take care.